Hey guys, what's going on? It's Yoanti coming back at you with another Q&A. Let's go ahead and get jumped right into it. I asked you guys on Twitter to ask me some questions, so I got a bunch. I got a ton of great responses, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into them. Uh, first up is that Nick 6 He says, what's the shoe you regret not picking up when they released? Uh, honestly, a shoe that I've been trying to hunt down is the Fear, Jordan Fear 4s. Uh, when they first released, I remember I was like, the fives, I didn't like that color on there. The threes, I liked, but I didn't love. And then the fours, I really liked, but I feel like there was a lot releasing at the time. Uh, I didn't love the whole nickname and theme. They were like, oh, it's the fear pack, because Jordan puts fear into his opponents. I was like, what? That's stupid. The shoe is gorgeous. Beautiful looking shoe, and now, and, and they were pretty limited, too. Um... And now they're like reselling for almost $400. So I totally regret not getting those. Next up, at Logis Logistical. Uh, do you think collecting shoes is a hobby or just an obsession? That's tough because I think it's basically both. Because usually people's hobby is their obsession. I don't think you'd have one without the other. If it's an obsession, it's probably a hobby. I think they're the same thing. Like name a, a hobby you've had where it's not obsession. Even like collecting baseball cards, it it's a hobby. It was a hobby for me, and it became an obsession. Going to the gym, you go to the gym is I guess you call it a hobby. I like a lot of things related to the gym, different fitness stuff, and I eventually become obsessed with it. I go there every single day. So sneakers, look, it's a, of course it's a, you don't you that's a fucking obsession. It's a hobby too. All right, this is a good one. At Matthew Wu seventeen. World's hardest question, Chipotle or Five Guys? I've actually, I've debated this in my own head. Because I, I knew this question would come up eventually. I'm surprised no one's asked me it before because I love both. I really do. I Here's how I have to, this is how I'll answer it. If, if you put a gun to my head and said I can only eat w one of those the rest of my life, it's got to be Five Guys. I mean, a burger and fries, like that's, that's life. That is life. Burger and fries. Like, that's... That's life. I, I could never live my life without having a burger and fries ever again. I, I could live without Chipotle. Chipotle's fantastic, but Five Guys is the winner. Next up, at Daniel24, there's like 900 O's. I've seen all types of kicks uh, in your videos, and I love it, but I've noticed no Nike ID. Why no Nike ID and your thoughts on them? The reason why I've never done a Nike ID is because I am too... OCD. There's no possible way I could ever, one, they're expensive, two, I could never come up with just one color or one theme, because I, I would have 20, and and, I, and if I did one, I'd be like, well, now I regret, I wish I did this color or that color. There's too many options, and my brain can't handle all these options. I like just when people create the shoe, and I buy their design. Doing my own, I feel like it's never-ending. If I buy one, then I'm going to have to buy 20. So that's the reason why I don't. It's it's almost like just like an endless pit of, of the different Nike IDs you could do. I'd never be able to just come up with that true like, all right, that's perfect. That's the only one I want. It's 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 hard for me. Next up, uh, Rache Granberry. Uh, if you could do a Uanti collaboration with any shoe brand, and what model and what color would it be? I would do a Jordan 4 retro collaboration but uh, Jordan 4 is one of my favorite or an Air Max 90 a Jordan 4 or Air Max 90 I think would be awesome I'd love to do some type of collaboration or colorway on that I think that'd be really cool next up Steven Nigel uh, if Kanye West went to Skechers would his shoe still be popular I say 1000% yes Kanye effect is the realest shit going Yes, yes, he'd go to poo shoes. I don't even know what that is, but he could do anything he does. I, I'm getting to the point where I can't stand Kanye dick riders. I'm a big Kanye West fan. I've been a Kanye West fan for 10 years. I'm not obsessed with him. I'm not like, I, I just don't get it. Ugh. Andres Elvers asks, what deodorant do you use? Here it is, Old Spice. And I'm not like uh, uh, too particular about like, like oh I have to have this. Um, like usually when I run out, why am I talking about my bum, bum, my deodorant habits? What the fuck? This is what I use, and I love it. <sighs> what the fuck am I doing? All right, guys, 
that's a wrap. Oh, hey, wait, did you see my phone? My cool new Yoanti uh, sticker right there. Uh, that's a wrap. Um, some awesome questions on Twitter. I, I, um, I'm kind of annoyed because I want to respond to all of them, but I can't I can't, the, can't have a 20 minute video. And I try to respond to some on Twitter, but some hilarious questions. So thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Uh, follow me on Twitter because whenever I'm going to make one, I'll tweet out, hey, I'm making a video, leave the questions. But that's it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are in the description. Click them, follow. Check out your empty shops. I have stickers, uh, t-shirts. Uh, check out UNT.com, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.